Hi everyone. So I said I was going to be talking about briefly on a mail template, and um, we are going to be using it in our course academic course registration. And this is going to kind of brief. I have created a mail template of file here. I added it to my data mail template. I have done some. I have done some things for you. And I'm going to be walking you through the mail template, the, it's an XML file, of course, and the model points to is mail.template. You give it a name, cost registration, anything you wish. Then the model ID, make sure you are referencing to the, the right model ID. The subject of the mail, you want to use the name of the student and say XYZ cost registration. Um, the partner, the student, um i want to um, define like um an html body in the in the mail so we have body html underscore html and we define the html tags div and like it's necessary for you to do this if you want to add some stylings and some html related uh code or tags in your in your template then inside this template, we said we decided I want to add our um, our report that is that cost registration file we were printing. We want to add it to our template, so we have what we call the report template, and we referenced it and said the name of our module dot um, the report ID, which is cost registration report ID, which is here. What will be the report name? We gave you the report name, name of the student, um, the student language, and uh, auto delete. That is, this will not be saved as an attachment at all. This will not. You won't have a record of this attachment in your in your in your um, server. These are signature false. So this is what this is the basis of what you will needed for mail template. Now I want to make sure that. This mail template can be sent from our our cost registration. So what we we'll do is remove this. Uh, okay, let's just leave it as done. Then we cite this we edit as a self dot env dot ref. This reference want to point to our our email template and say open academy dot the ID of the mail does this. Then I want to send a mail and say send and ask a mail. This template has a function called send underscore mail. And we say um, self.id force send equals to true. So I can refresh this. Do not forget to add this in your manifest file. I can restart the server. And um, on our cost registration record, once I reload, I will click on approve. So click on approve once it is sent it's um it's moved straight to done state and this will create a kind of record in the in the email tree so we're going to be have we're going to see where emails are being sent and what is responsible for the emails not sending so we'll see that why is it taking time Fine, it has gone to downstairs. This should not take much time to probably 
have a network. Alright, so I go to the settings to check. Let's see if this mail was actually sent. Come here to mails. Yeah, this mail, mail was sent, but I think it failed. Delivery failed. Yeah, I think that's why it was taking much time. And the reason is network is unreachable. Alright, so well, if the network was actually perfect, it will send a mail with an attachment. And for you to make sure that um, emails are actually delivered, you go to this technical settings and configure an outgoing mail server. This is an outgoing mail server for Gmail. But that's in my have to google or uh, your mail your mail um email hosting company might send you some of these configurations so you get the sftp server you put in your username and password just for gmail ssl slash tls and the port is automatically for 65 make sure the the less secure uh, app on your gmail is on if it is off it won't through so you have to make sure you allow less secure apps to be able to access the system so this is the reason this is how you do your ask email server and once that is done emails should go through unless you're having network issues or something so this is a brief um brief um overview of email templates it's more there are many more to this um you can you you can do some other things with this email templates, more customizations and the like. But this is the basics, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the last section we're going to be talking about is um, web services. I'm going to just be touching a little bit about SMRPC, SMLRPC, and um, how you can. This the purpose of this is from other applications you can interface with audio whether php but as long as the library is available in that language you can interface with code and you're going to be working specifically with python so we're we'll really dealing that dealing with that in the next section and that will be the last section i hope you enjoyed the course and uh, i hope to see yet to hear testimonies of how you've been able to build Modus easily. Thank you.